I can't get over this barrel vault. It looks beautiful. About 20 hours up in the air building this massive drywall um, barrel vault. Hey, today I'm in Las Vegas at the local uh, United Brotherhood of Carpenters training facility. And I have John Flanders here and uh, he's their lead instructor. As a matter of fact, I just pulled him out of a class with uh, how many apprentices you have? 16. 16 apprentices. Well, what I wanted to show you, the reason I came by here is this barrel vault was part of an apprentice training class that John led his apprentices through. And how, how long is the barrel vault, John? Uh, 64 feet. It's just about a eight and a half foot radius, 17 foot something diameter. And with, with our drywall grid, you know, we've been building barrel vaults for years, but it's not always that you find one this tight of a radius. And what they did is, you know, they curved our drywall grid mains, but then they connected them six feet on center with six foot cross tees. Yes. So what type, how, you know, I know you had like in a class of a 24 apprentices. I set a few of them up, marking out and laying out the template routed out the groove in the drywall so the profile of the, the main could sit in there, cut the tabs on the faceted mains, locked them into place with the RC clips. They came out pretty rigid. We just handed them up to guys on lifts and some rolling scaffolds and started installing them. Had a few guys installing the wires in front of us, obviously. And as we're coming out this end, people were actually still building this end of the soffit to connect to at the, at the termination. So up on the lifts you had, yeah. what, five, five, six people? Well, they had to do this basically off some rolling towers that we made. We only had access to the, to the one lift. But okay. It worked out. They stayed busy and they, they really liked doing something this interesting. So this, this, all you see here, this was one training week and half of the training week was in the classroom. So out of the other four, you know, half of the four days, 20 hours basically. Yeah. They put this up and then they just had to come back and do a little bit of, uh, um, you know, leveling and uh, getting it, you know, braced off perfectly so it's nice and plumb. Once the parts were made in the template and we were locked into one wall, it went, it went pretty quick. They were doing, they are setting a main and putting the tees in. Once they got locked into that back wall, about every 20 minutes. Now, what's the other reason that you built this? They're having an event, uh, a delegate meeting here. They have them quarterly for the Southwest Regional Council of Carpenters. Each one has its own uh, designated theme. And they wanted this to be a replica of a portion of the... The, uh, the Fremont Street. The Fremont Street barrel. So with the LED lighting and displays and shows they can show on it. Then over here, if you can see, they built a replica of a portion of Hoover Dam and they're putting some freeform lath on it to simulate rocks. They're gonna cover up with some kind of covering to make it look like natural rocks. So they're gonna put different signage and banners in here and try to replicate uh, the city of Las Vegas with the theme that, you know, if you want it built and it can be built, this is the area you can do it in. They yeah. do some, some crazy things. I know you guys have been involved with a handful of the newest casinos built here. They have some, some crazy features done with your products. Well, John, thanks a bunch. All I right, appreciate you. your time. Thank you for coming with me on this episode of Build It Better here in Las Vegas. I can't get over this barrel vault. It looks beautiful. And just remember, that was about 24 apprentices in a class, but only five to six were up in the air installing. Um, and it took them, you know, it was four days, but it was only uh, half of that was classroom time. So really about 20 hours up in the air building this massive drywall um, barrel vault here. And then you had the apprentices on the ground. Over here, they had the jig set up where they uh, were bending the radiuses and screwing the RC2 clips in to form those radiuses. Very efficient construction uh, for today's 21st century uh, barrel vaults and curves and soffits and things like that. So if you'd like to learn more, visit armstrongceilings.com forward slash drywall grid. And if you haven't done so yet, join the Contractor Club with Armstrong for updates on handy tips and tricks, uh, these Build It Better videos, tailgate talks, and anything new that we come out with. Just go to the QR code on the banner that we have here, and I'll put a big QR code up on the screen. 
uh, and you can scan that. It'll take you right to the signups. If you want to go to our Armstrong website, it's armstrongceilings.com forward slash contractors.